our next uh, program that we're going to make is going to be using our um, 5x5 LED array that we have on our micro bits and creating some simple animation. So first I'm going to call this program part um, and we're going to grab a show LEDs block from this basic set of blocks here. I'm going to drag and drop it in the forever loop. We're not going to be using on start today, just forever. So uh, this is pretty simple. Any of these LEDs that I click on, my micro bit over here is going to read and then it's going to highlight those same LEDs in whatever pattern I choose. So um, you can, I think, see how we're going to use this for animation. So uh, the first thing I want you to do, I want you to make a heart. Here's what my heart looks like. Yours doesn't have to look like this. You can make it small. You can make it large, whatever you want to do. Um, here is my heart that I made. So my program right now is in a loop that is forever going to show what is inside of it. And right now there's only one thing inside of it, one block that shows a heart. So over here, this is just going to stay lit up forever. Now, to make this a little bit more animation, I'm going to click on basic again. I'm going to grab another show LEDs. And in just a second, I'm going to drop this underneath this one. But I want you to think, what do you think this is going to do when I put in a show LEDs block. Okay, so when I drop this in, over here we're going to see my computer program read and my heart starts flashing. The explanation for that is, is pretty simple. When I click on my, my snail, over here this shows me what blocks are running. You can see that my, um, my blocks are running in a loop and it starts by showing the heart, and then it moves down here to show nothing. That's when this goes blank. And then it hits the end of the loop, so it goes back up to the start, and it says, how long am I gonna do this? Well, forever. So it's gonna be in a loop of showing a heart, and then showing blanks. Showing a heart and a blank screen. And that makes my heart flash. Now I've got a couple things I can do to uh, make this a little more interesting. I can grab a pause block here in the basic set. I can grab a pause block and wherever I drop this pause, it's gonna pause for however long I want it to in milliseconds. So 100 milliseconds is a tenth of a second. A thousand milliseconds would be one second. So it's gonna pause whichever block I put it under. So you can see my heart stays up for a whole second and whatever is underneath it only goes for that tenth of a second. And now I can start really playing around with some of the animations. I'm gonna fill in my heart here so you'll see that it's gonna do this. I can get rid of this pause block if I want. Drag it over here to erase it. And so I can start to do some fun animations with this. So I'm gonna give you a bit of a challenge here. I want you to use at least 10 blocks. You can use more if you want, but at least 10 to give me an animation. Make this heart do something. It could spin, it could slowly fill up, it could explode, a monster truck could come driving over it. Do whatever you wanna do, um, but I want you to use at least 10 blocks uh, to do it. And I'm gonna show you one more quick thing. This is my little zoom out tool. This allows me to zoom out so when I've got all these blocks in a row, I can more easily manage it. And one more thing now that I'm thinking of it, uh, I have two arrows down here. This is undo and redo. So if I liked that pause, I could put it back in with the undo button. Or if I want to take it back out, I can redo things. All right, there's your challenge. Animate a heart.